Nuclear submarines are used to patrol the oceans and the seas. Nicknamed the Silent Service, they carry a variety of weapons and can spend months underwater. But it's what to do with them when they go out of service that has raised many questions which have been grappled over for decades. Now the UK is attempting a world first, the dismantling and cutting up of a nuclear submarine. Taking a submarine from the day that it leaves service to um, what our end point is, which is turning it into razor blades and tin cans, that's our ambition, is quite a complex process and it takes quite a long time. There's roughly seven stages from it leaving service to final recycling and it starts off with the submarine being decommissioned. Uh, that means it's taken out of service. The crew are all paid off, which means that they leave the ship for the final time. And that's quite an emotional uh, moment. A submarine which has been in service for 30 years or more is finally leaving service. So the first stage is called de-equipping. And at that point, they take off all the equipment. Anything that is, is able to be reused on other submarines will definitely be reused. Uh, a bit like moving out of a house. So you take away all the fixtures and fittings and you're left with just the submarine. Um, and at that point, it undergoes a, a, what's called a layup package. And that's making it safe to be stored. At this point, the nuclear fuel is still on board, um, so making the nuclear reactor 100% safe is, is really important. But they also go on shutting all the valves, making sure there's nothing that could leak, because the submarine is now entering long-term storage. So the boats which are taken out of service are uh, stored at the moment in Devonport. We've got seven submarines here at Resize, which are all taken out of service here. All future submarines are taken out of service in Devonport and they're stored in a basin in Devonport. And it can be for up to 10 years. Some of them have been there longer than that, and the submarines at Recife have been there quite a lot longer than that. We spent quite a long time, about 10 years ago, looking at, at alternative methods and the method we are adopting is this dismantlement and no one else has done that. When we manage to cut it up by 2026, that will be a global first, no one else will have cut up a submarine. And in fact, interestingly, it will be a first for the UK cutting up a pressurised water reactor. Those submarines are small pressurised water reactors which are uh, really just small versions of um, a UK civil reactor like Sizewell is also a pressurised water reactor and one of those has never been cut up. So we're blazing the trail not only for uh, the Navy but also for civil nuclear decommissioning um, and that's what's so exciting about it. The Submarine Delivery Agency is responsible for dismantling 27 nuclear submarines 21 of which are already decommissioned and have left service, while six currently continue to be operated by the Royal Navy. There are seven submarines stored safely and securely at Rosyth Dockyard in Fife and 14 at Devonport Dockyard in Plymouth. It's at Rosyth where three defield submarines have already started the dismantling process. About 90% of the metal in the overall submarine is free of any radioactivity, so can be cut up and recycled quite easily. Most of the radioactive parts are pipes, pumps and other metalwork in the area of the boat closest to the nuclear reactor, called the reactor compartment. This area is being cleared out at this stage of dismantling, starting with mostly smaller components containing lower levels of radioactivity. It's the largest pieces in the reactor compartment, such as the reactor pressure vessel and nearby structures that have higher levels of radiation, which get cut up and taken off next. At the moment, low-level waste gets taken to a surface disposal facility in West Cumbria, where a lot of the UK's radioactive waste is being safely placed in concrete-lined vaults, which will eventually be permanently covered with more concrete and earth and grassed over. The most challenging intermediate-level waste will be taken to Capenhurst in Cheshire, but this won't be its final destination. The UK government is still working on where an underground geological disposal facility will be located to house this type of radioactive waste in the long run. The radioactive material which has a disposal route where we know where it can go is all taken off. Um, that's taken about a year and a half for each of the boats we've done here. We've done Swiftshore, 
We've done Rezo and Revenge is the one in the dock which is nearing completion. Stage two is the next bit and that's the most challenging part and in some ways it's the most exciting part. Um, it's when you take out the, the what's left of the uh, centre of the reactor. Um, it's called the reactor pressure vessel and really it's just like a giant kettle but it's the most radioactive part that's left. Um, so taking that out is key to the rest of the submarine being able to be disposed of like any conventional ship. Um, that process has been quite a long time in planning um, because it's a large piece of equipment and it's quite radioactive. And our absolute number one goal is safety. And the safety of uh, that second stage of uh, dismantling is, is paramount. It's safety of the workers, it's safety of members of the public, and absolutely safety of the environment. So our expectation is that we'll be able to do stage two, starting probably in late 2025, maybe sooner than that, if things go well. And then, once that's out, the rest of the vessel is non-radioactive. It's just scrap metal, and it can be put into the final stage of uh, disposal, which is recycling. There's lots of very valuable steel in there. There's other alloys. There's even gold. There's even some gold connectors in some parts of the submarine. So all of this is really excellent for recycling. It costs an estimated £30 million a year to maintain and store the current 21 retired submarines. And this programme to dismantle 27 boats is projected to cost more than £3 billion. The submarines are going nowhere. Um, the oldest submarine we've got at, at Resize is the original HMS Dreadnought. She left service uh, in the 80s um, and she's been tied up for quite a long time now. Um, again, very safe, um, but uh, unless we do something about them, um, we're going to run out of space, not at Resize, but down in Devonport where the submarines are going to come out of service. We knew 20 years ago that we, we had to do something. And it, it does seem a long time, 20 years, but safety has always had to be first. So although I agree it seems like a long time, it's worth it to make sure it's done safely and done in a way that is uh, environmentally friendly. And it is getting the problem sorted with this generation. We don't want to leave waste for um, future generations to have to deal with. The dilemma of how to dispose of the UK nuclear submarines is finally on its way to being solved. Bryony Williams, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.